Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Multi-Tool Monday Madness has returned to the channel. Now I don't have Multi-Tool Madness every week because unfortunately I don't get a new Multi-Tool every week that's worth showing. But when I do, you'll be the first to know. So this Multi-Tool right here is the Havilon Evolve endorsed by Jim Shockey who is a famous hunter that has a television show about hunting as well. And here is just a closer look at this tool. Of course it is a players based multi-tool. Pocket clip there. It's got a carabiner. And of course the pliers. Closer look at the pliers. Now you see it has the wider gripping portion, the closer gripping portion, the wire cutters, and wire stripper. It also comes with this clamshell style nylon case which has a, a belt loop on the back that's useful. It also comes with extra scalpel blades and those are that's a saw blade I will show you later. Now you may have noticed this has a similar configuration to the Leatherman Skeletool in that it has the carabiner there the bit driver right there, but what is the difference? Well first of all this is a Havilon and Havilon makes stuff like this, right? These scalpel type folders. I've had several Havilon blades over the years and typically I use these in survival kits. Alright, if you have to, I've used these to cut splinters out and they're so sharp I can cut the top layer of skin which is dead and get at a splinter with a minimum of blood and a minimum of pain. So this is a similar configuration to a Skeletool but they've added, well behold, yes this uh, Haviland Touch, right? It's got a replaceable scalpel type blade instead of a conventional knife blade. And that scalpel blade is a locking blade. Right? It's a liner lock. It's very secure, which is important for such a sharp blade. It actually has a very strong detent as well, so it's not going to accidentally come loose, which is good because you don't want to reach for your multi-tool and get scalpeled. And one of the major benefits of that, well, two. One, a scalpel blade is so freaking thin that it slices through things quite well. And if it gets dull, you can just easily replace it in the field. Right? And once again, apologies for the, uh, that's blood. That's not dirt, that's blood. I was attacked by one of my split rings. So I was putting something on my keychain. And here is a size comparison for you with the Leatherman Super Tool 300, then the Havilon Tool, and then the Leatherman Surge. So you see the length of this multi-tool it's in the extra large category for multi-tools, around four and a half inches. But I would note that this Havilon tool is, uh, it's more narrow and it's definitely thinner than these uh, big boys by Leatherman. And also a lot of the length of this tool is from that carabiner. Again, that's the skeletal configuration. So even though it's as long as these, it's not really as heavy. Now in the world of multi-tools, almost all multi-tools are pliers based. There are exceptions such as uh, hammer based multi-tools, but pliers based multi-tools are overwhelmingly the most popular. Right, and this is pliers based obviously. So the first thing we have to address, is this tool only for hunters? I would say no, because being that the primary tool on this is the pliers, at least in my opinion, um, to me, you know, pliers are useful for all kind of people and all kind of professions for all kinds of tasks. Okay, pliers are not only useful for hunters. So even though this is um, endorsed by a famous hunter and all, if you're not a hunter, you can still find many uses for this, the pliers, and even the scalpel too. I mean, scalpels are not only useful for, um, you know, skinning game. I mean, like I said, I use scalpels in uh, survival and medical kits. Now, one very important thing that you have to know about this multi-tool, 
listen up because this can save you from cutting yourself with a scalpel okay this has a basically a thumb plate to open this one-handed all right and yeah it is for you know right-handed use all right you see that the way this comes it was much harder to open I have adjusted this so that now it's pretty easy to open with one hand and I am left-handed but it still was easy enough for me to open with my right hand what you need to do is adjust the pivot screw because the detent on this is extremely tight in fact almost dangerously so the way it comes when I first got this I was having to open it like this right I couldn't open it with the thumb or if I did I would have to push so freaking hard that if it opened quickly that could slice your whole thumb completely open so I definitely recommend adjusting that pivot screw slightly get your get your Torx get your Torx tools and adjust that pivot screw I'll include a link for where to get uh, that tool Okay, but seriously, if yours comes as tight as mine was, you definitely want to adjust that so that you can open it easily with one hand and it won't be dangerous to you. Okay, so you saw the scalpel. What else does this have? Well, you see this opening slot. This is a gut hook, but it's also a line cutter. And this is a non-locking tool. But it doesn't matter because when you use this, you're pulling that way. Okay, so you're not pushing it to close it all. All right, let me just show you how sharp it is and how it works as a line cutter. You pull back and forth when you use a line cutter and it can be used to cut uh, paracord, like so. It can also be used to cut uh, other type of cordage, uh, like for example, I'll pull that a little bit. It can cut like fishing line and stuff like that. You see that? So it works great as a line cutter. Now this cutter is also the same configuration as a rescue cutter, like a seat belt cutter. They don't specifically say to use it as that in the instructions, uh, but for that purpose, you know, certainly better than nothing, right? And of course, its main function is as a gut hook. You can basically open up an animal and pull out its guts. Now. Uh, YouTube has a rule against graphic things, so I can't, like, show entrails and blood. But trust me, you can open up an animal and remove its guts with this gut hook. And now the bit driver. All right, this is locked in. If you want to change the bit, you press down right there. It unlocks it. It comes with this double-sided bit, which has a flat head and a Phillips. And it also comes with storage space for two more bits, but it only comes with one bit. Okay, here is the storage space for the bits, and I've added two bits that I uh, had from one of my Schrade knives. So basically, you press that in. It's a little tight, so... But there you go. And then you can slide your extra bits out of the little storage silo. Now, the hook structure for the carabiner is also a bottle opener. Okay, it's a little hard to do this suspended in front of the camera, but you see that? Let's open this up. There you go. And what the hell is this? It's, it's like woodchuck. It's, it's hard cider. I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna have a little off camera, by the way. <laughs> now, one of the benefits of this exchanging your blade system is that you can use other blades, such as this saw blade, which it comes with, and it tells you uh, how to safely remove the blade in the instructions. All right, so if you want to use this blade remover to safely remove a blade, basically you put it in there and you kind of press down. Hold on. Gotta be careful. And long story short, you just can pull it off like so. To replace a blade, uh, basically you fit this here. They recommend using pliers, but you know, if I'm in the field, these are my pliers, so I mean, I would just fit it like with my hand 
Okay, but they recommend using pliers. I guess they don't want to be liable. But that's how you replace the blade. I mean, it's, it's easy. Oh, and one more tip about removing this without pliers. You have to pull this tab. You see that? You have to pull this tab that way, right, and then pull it off. Okay, so you see how that tab is like that? And now you can pull it off. So let's talk a little bit more about the scalpel. Is that a good idea? I mean, aside from, you know, if you're hunting and you need a scalpel, is that a good idea in general to have access to a scalpel? Uh, yes, because a lot of people carry their own folding knife anyway. So the blade on a multi-tool is sometimes redundant. I mean, let's, let's, for example here, let me take any blade near me. So let's say you're carrying this and then you're carrying a multi-tool. I don't really need a conventional plain edge blade on my multi-tool if I'm already carrying a knife. So it's good to have access to another type of cutting tool. You know, scalpels. You love them, I love them. This is a finger scalpel. Again, I have this for like little, tiny little um, medical kits. Here's another scalpel. I got this for free. Uh, sometimes you order a knife store from different stores. You know, they have little freebie items. I don't remember where this is from. But scalpels can be quite useful. I love them, you love them, Dexter loves them. Okay, so a summary of the tools on this multi-tool. You've got a exchange blade system with a saw and a scalpel blade. You've got the gut hook, line cutter, rescue hook. You've got the pliers with the wire stripper and the wire cutter. You've got the bit driver and you've got uh, storage for two extra bits. So if you had three double-sided bits, you would have basically six options. And you have the carabiner to attach it and this can also be used as a bottle opener. So that is what we would categorize as a fairly minimalist tool set. In other words, it doesn't have a reamer, it doesn't have a metal file, uh, you know, it doesn't have all the stuff on a Leatherman Surge, but that's perfectly valid. There's a lot of companies that have a more minimalist uh, product like the Skeletool, for example, so that's a valid way to go. So how does this thing feel, you know, in hand? Things that you can't tell just by looking in a video. It actually feels really solidly constructed. It feels well made. Uh, the tolerances are all really precise. This is made in Taiwan. You know, whereas most multi-tools today, a lot of them are made in China, or some of the parts are made in China, and then assembled somewhere else. This is made in Taiwan, and, you know, they're pretty good at turning out a solid product. Now, I hope you're enjoying this multi-tool Monday. Uh, one thing I've learned from doing these videos People just enjoy seeing the multi-tools or the Swiss Army knives. It just, it just gives them a positive feeling. You know, a lot of things about multi-tools are self-evident, right? You, you don't need someone to say, yeah, you know, the blade can cut something and so forth. But nonetheless, people enjoy seeing them and getting someone else's subjective opinion. Now, this particular multi-tool Monday was made possible by... Uh, MSLE Supply, that's Military Security Law Enforcement Supply. It is a website that sells uh, knives, multi-tools, flashlights, as well as equipment for people in law enforcement. Okay, so this video would not have been possible without them, so check out their website. Also, there is a 15% discount code, and shipping for any order over $30 is free. So I just want to thank them for basically donating this to be reviewed. You know, this is a very new multi-tool. I was not able to find any reviews of it on YouTube. Okay, so if this had not been donated to review, I don't know if I personally would have bought it right now. So really, this video would, you wouldn't even get to see this, right, if not for them. Now let's talk price. The price is um, a bit less than $100, you know, I've seen it 
between 80 and 100. So is that a good price? A lot of people are going to say, you know, I could get some Leathermans for the same price, so why would I buy this? You know, that's a good question. I guess it really depends how much you want basically a Havilan a scalpel knife, right, combined with your multi-tool. So I chose this, uh, this item just because there were no reviews of it. So it's the most useful to people that were curious about it, right? But the point of the video is not that, like, everyone has to buy one right now. No, that's, I'm just showing you the features. Right, so they do sell this at MSLE Supply. However, you know, if you're not into the Havilland tool, I'd advise you to browse around at the website because they also sell tomahawks, machetes, folders. Also, the website is run by a military veteran, okay? And it's a US-based business. So it's a good place to support, so check that out and thanks again to them. So final conclusions on this. One, it's well made. Two, I like the idea of having a Havilon scalpel knife integrated into a multi-tool. Uh, three, the Skeletool type configuration with a minimalist tool set, that's totally a valid way to go. Uh, drawbacks would be, well number one, I do think it should come with the extra bits for the bit driver. I mean that's, I, I don't know why they don't include two more bits. And the other drawback would simply be price. I mean, competing with Leatherman and Victorinox Swiss tools, I mean, that is stiff competition. So only time will tell, you know, if the buying public, if their experience judges Havilon tools to be worthy of that fierce competition, you know, but one thing is certain, whenever some company starts to try to compete with the big boys, people are going to want to see all the little details, so that's what I'm showing you here today. Okay, YouTube, well that does it for another Multi-Tool Monday. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out that website. They were very generous to me and to you, especially giving that discount code. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.